My name is Pete Fry, founder of Puck Masters Hockey Training Centers, former professional hockey player, and I am fired up to be your personal coach for today. What is the reason that you want to listen to this visualization tape before you play your game? How come you don't want to just go out there and play your game without visualizing? Let me tell you a story about a friend of mine, Dr. Lee Poulos. Lee Poulos is a world-renowned motivational speaker, and he was hired to take the team of the Edmonton Oilers through visualizations. This was during the period when they were winning all of their Stanley Cups. So Lee told me the story of when he was flown into Edmonton. He walks in a room, all the Edmonton Oilers are standing around there, and Lee said his first job was to convince these players about the importance of visualization. Now let me tell you, a couple players were a little standoffish. Although that didn't get in Dr. Poulos' way. He had a job to do and he wanted to help this team win a Stanley Cup. So what Lee did was he passed out pens and notepads to each player so that if they wanted to, they could take notes while Lee talked about the importance of visualization in being successful in hockey. Now here's the most interesting thing. As Lee spoke, he watched the room, he watched the players, and by the end of his speech, he took into account the player that took the most notes. Now, who do you think that player was? I'm going to let you take a guess. Who was the player that showed the most interest and took the most notes? Take a guess. Let's hear you. Come on, guess. You got it. You guessed right. That player was the greatest hockey player of all time, the great Wayne Gretzky. Just remember this, eventually you will become the image you have of yourself. So make it a magnificent one. Describe the best you to yourself. Describe the actions you will take and the results that you will achieve. Make them bold yet achievable. Harness the power of your imagination and make it real in your own mind. Then make it real in the real world. Everything is created twice. First in your mind, then in reality.